Tonight, other big developments in the Brianna Taylor case. WDRV's Chad Mills shows us the brand new 911 call and the promise Mayor Fisher is making tonight. Help! Oh my God! Yes, help! What's your name, sir? Oh, my name is Kim Walker. You say Kim? It's one of the most heartbreaking things that I've seen in my uh, years as an attorney that I've listened to. An attorney for the family of Breonna Taylor describes the tearful 911 call, finally released by the city almost two and a half months after a controversial LMPD raid that ended with an officer injured, a man Kenneth Walker arrested, and 26-year-old EMT Breonna Taylor dead. Even though LMPD has said its trio of officers knocked and announced themselves during the raid, Lanita Baker says this recording shows otherwise. 911 hey. operator Harris, where is your emergency? I don't, I don't know what's happening. Somebody kicked in the door inside my girlfriend. Okay, where are you located? I'm at 3003 Springfield Drive, apartment four. 3003 Springfield Drive, apartment number four? Yes. Oh my God. Okay, how old is your girlfriend? She's, she's 26. Bring it. And through all of that, he still does not know that it's police. You don't hear police saying anything during that two minute, almost three minute call. Moments after the call was released, Mayor Greg Fisher promised more transparency during a virtual town hall and fielded questions from angry, fed up commenters. One of the questions we're getting from the public is, uh, why haven't the officers been fired and why haven't they been charged with murder? So there's due process associated with this. There's also contractual rights that the police officers have with the union contract. Fisher said he's still waiting for local, state and federal investigators to nail down all the facts as tension, frustration and the call for change continue to mount. In the police department, the, you know, what, what kind of culture is there? If you see the fruit is bad, you may need to go check the root. And the root is culture. That was Chad Mills reporting there. Baker, the attorney for the Taylor family, encourages all who are upset to focus their collective energy on making sure city leaders pass reforms and pick a better police chief. Meanwhile